put on terrible, fucking awful TV movie. TV on, close off. On, TV close on, off. close off. Just like real life. I'm just gonna come home and just like that scene in Bruce Almighty when he like, and all just clothes fall off. That's what's gonna happen today. We bought it. Where did we shoot? Who just went home? Hannah went home. We shot a scene where she, uh, where John Ryan ripped down a purple Christmas light. So I guess more Halloween lights than anything else. Want to see John Ryan take a spill? And then, oh motherfucker! Oh stupid lights. Oh, I'm kind of sorry I missed that live. That was pretty it was good. good. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I know what the overall action is, but I'm talking about placement. Like, come in, do I just sit down and watch the movie, or am no, I gonna go no, to no. bed and under you come in, sleep? You come in and you head straight to your bedroom. Okay. And um, and you find this man playing the guitar in your, on your bed. Hey, dude. <laughs> and, uh... Alright, well, I mean, I guess if this is gonna happen... Yeah, gonna and you ask... Let's get nuts! Yeah. This is Keith, he owns the house. He's been gracious enough to this film here. Teen uh, Choice Awards, we'll give you one of those. Yes. <laughs> I, I stick my tongue out to the side! How's the audio coming out today? It's coming out, you know. It's all right. You can hear it with your ears. You can hear it with ears and your nose. It smells like audio. Just head to volume. This is where John Ryan got drunk, ripped down the lights. This is Mark's awesome room. Where he kind of looks like he just crashes. Doesn't really live here, just sleeps maybe. You like hear him trying to get the key into the lock and he's just like... And then, yeah. like, I mean, yeah, and you can just be off. looking at his base the whole time that's happening. Yeah, and you hear this, yeah. Yeah. fuck. And then finally he gets in. I like that. Okay. Nice. That way, so we go over, we go past this, the base, the piano uh, thing, and we hit, we yeah. land. Hello, America. You just, uh, How are you? Ready? Uh, you gotta clap in, though. Really? Really? Let me nestle my beer between my fat folds. Alright, cut. <laughs> I can give you a better one if you want. No, that was great. Hey, Frankie. With me. What did directing with your shirt off add to the scene? I don't know. What happened was John. I asked John Ryan to take his shirt off. He didn't want to, and so I said, "Well, I'll do it." You I didn't know, say I didn't want to. I said I would do it for you. Well, yeah, he was saying these things that implied, yeah, yeah, yeah. like like Frankie only for you and stuff like that. So I said, "Tell you I'm what." Not touching, I'm not touching. So I'll tell you well, what. I'm just saying, I'll take anyway. mine off for you so that I'm we can be in this together. And then it just distracted him far more and it made it way worse. Yeah, it was. This is very problematic. But I think I smell really good still. I do not. Don't even, don't even, don't even get it, so. And Kyle's like, ooh, hairy men. Like, as if, like, come on, Kyle Gage is afraid of little body hair? Mm -hmm. Not afraid. Disgusted. <laughs> what? You're into beards. I know, you got real issues with women with, like, any leg hair. Women. Ladies. Disgusting women. <laughs> Like, for a guy who drinks out of plastic fucking nip bottles when he can afford them, a, a full bottle of Jack Daniels is like Christmas. But it's, it's, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, that is... The problem is, I read it, I read it like, um, like if I saw that bottle in one scene, because it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, a recognizable bottle. Yeah. And then you see it later. I don't think we were paying any particular attention to how filled or not filled it was. I mean, that just makes more tea and put more in the bottle. Well, if you guys aren't drinking out of it, I can just pour the whiskey back in. How about it's, it's a full sealed bottle? If it's a full sealed bottle, if it looks that way, if it looks like that, sure. then I think that's... So weird. that, you'd rather have the Jack Daniels and the stuff? Yeah, sure. If that's yeah, let me. So um, both. So you want me to both bottles. to fill up both or no or to fill we up gonna get so drunk in here? I, I want to see. Is that at least brown rice? There is brown rice in there somewhere. It's pretty brown simple. Brown With all the alcohol side. you've had today, you're looking for brown right rice. In front of the yeah, I mean, what, the beginning's kind of more dynamic, you know. The, you get um, the middle's kind of louder. <laughs> Start with it. Uh, Where are the earplugs? Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Alright, so so here's the deal, guys. So make sure you have like have like back shots where maybe you're not seeing the hands and you don't see me at all, because drums are the biggest continuity bitch. We're gonna do rolling, rolling. We're gonna have whoever is main person clap if you can. Is that cool? Spot. James Sport. I don't know. I don't know where I am. How's the movie going? Good. We're eight to seven days in. Getting a little punchy. <laughs> so we're uh, fixing post. We've got Bonica again. I am here. <laughs> rock st one of the rock stars of this production. Oh, please. <laughs> see, see how modest. 
So this is like this cleaned up, like rent by the hour kind of situation. It's Jeff, Jeff's working on some, some horrible beats for us to have later for the hipster band to play. So this is Rhiannon, and this is dedication. This is like... <laughs> awesome. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Like you guys will remember Rhiannon from Vibes. Hit one of these buttons and blast off. Oh my god. Oh, it's perfect. I might be a little bit of a hipster because I actually do kind of like the hair. I'm a little jealous. I kind of like it too, actually. I feel like if you were just dressed in like a business suit, like it would just make like total sense. I'll try it. I'll see what, I'll see what my patients yeah, think when I go to work one day. I'm gonna use it again for Halloween. I'm gonna go as a manic pixie dream girl. Preparation, acting, production design, tortured musical genius. I'm just trying to find the dramas. What do you think about this keyboard? It's not bad. Could we use one for our productions? Yeah, it's like, nah, a little. Not a great piano. I mean, or she could, she could sit down there and he could be sitting on this amp and yeah. I'm just like surrounded by musical people on this production and they're just making me feel talentless. I'm gonna try my hand at the recorder again. Or a kazoo. Then basically it's like... And then the three of them can, they can have their own sidebar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause this guy can... This song is uh, really about my quarter life crisis. Are you gonna cry about your cat dying like Miley Cyrus? So how like, um, how, how enthusiastic of a person am I? That's, kind of, I kind of enthusiastic. Right, okay, right. That's what But I'm everything thinking. is kind of up inflection. Right. And I just yeah. thought about this. Yeah. But okay. we're still, I'm open for advice. I'm open for a yeah. lot of um, yeah. okay. feedback. Yeah. Don't shut Rolling. Rolling. Shut up. Rolling. Shut up. Don't shut up. Action. So I made our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn accounts. And as of yesterday, we have 200 people. Cut. John Ryan's pack. Something went wrong with it. <gasps> Not my pack! Something's up with pack. Something's up with pack. What about Something's the packs? Up with packs. What about Something's the packs? Packs? Oh, The executive. No, the overlord of the production. Good man. Everyone's all touchy. Hannah's gonna quit. Media services. Pick it up! Pick it up! We are here, man. We made it. We're at radio. Didn't think it was gonna happen again. Amy showed up late again. Like an hour late, not like not at all. That's the important thing. You need to remember that. Keep some perspective. Uh, hopefully I'm not walking into a table right now. John, do you know him by now? No. We need to do is pick a tempo and stick to it. Maybe we rehearse more than once a fucking month. First Tuesday when there's a full moon, an hour from sundown. Dicks. Kyle and Bonapidget lighting. This is the location we were super scared about. We wanted to be initially, but he was there when we did that PA instead. Couldn't get him today. But look at this phenomenal light. It's gonna go well, guys, I can tell. Every, every location I have to find some kind of a workstation where I can get this done. And I put myself in charge of it because... It's important. By the end of the day, all of our day's work will just be sitting on this fucking thing. Oh I my god. I want to make god. sure that it's done properly. Are they waiting on me? Well, yes, sir. When this movie's done, we start a band. <laughs> Conversations with creative people. I think I'm trying to figure out, Nana. So if you look up at the ceiling, there are tons and tons of plugs on the ceiling. Ridiculous amounts. It's like a long 14 foot oh, hour strip right there. Yeah, all over the place. I have no idea why. John Ryan is staying in character. Don't worry, audience. He's not angry at us. I'm angry. I'm the main character. It's cool if there's two of them. <laughs> you want enough, there's enough mark to go around. Be willing. Okay, so on action. Uh, I think yeah. Kerry was miscast. I think Johnny should have been Kerry. Can you, uh, whenever we start, really like to come back over here. Uh, <laughs> Hey, I really liked your set. <laughs> okay, so let's weird. do it again with a little less action. Does anyone have caffeine pills? Caffeine pills? Uh, I could go to Market Basket and get you some. <laughs> Would you like a coffee? I can go get you a coffee. I can't oh, actually. I, get you I don't want you to go get me a coffee. What would you like? I will get it. Would you like the coffee? Yep, you're an actor. So I just want a little hot coffee thing that's going to be Okay. Do you just take it regularly? So, Kyle, I was thinking. I am. 
when he like when how do you take your coffee nasty, um with milk uh, I was okay just and milk. no sugar and then bring me sugar okay <laughs> Can we get everybody in there in position? Sure. In position? Let's get you guys all lined up. Like, I, don't like care. I don't care how they're like. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Yeah. Same Why are people so angry? No, nobody's good, angry, Keith. Everybody I mean, loves you. Mr. Keith Sadek. Oh, you can love me. <laughs> I just don't want them to not love me. Too. Where are we, Keith Sadek? Uh, we were at some fort oh, yeah, at a road race. <laughs> some fort. I don't know the name. I don't know what fort it is. I've been asking and no one's telling me. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't remember, actually. Are we taping it or something? Yeah, I'll tape it in a minute. Just leave it hanging out of the brain shirt. Yeah. Come back and run it up the inside yeah. of your shirt. Yeah, Frankie's tired. And I'll tape it's it on the inside of your t-shirt. It's the last day. <laughs> and we're at Fort what? At a road race what? Yeah, Fort Tabor in New Bedford. Fort, it doesn't matter Tabor. in... All right. Nina's coming back with some safety pins to get this thing up. Some stuff mm -hmm. specifically for this kind of thing. And some a dollar. The junt station. I, I, I kind of want to make that. I made it through all night. Some, 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 Look at that like, stupid dick face. Hey, I'm a director. Well, it's, 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 and I do so know where in, to put the table. Ryan, it's, we're spending most of the time that looking at John Ryan. That stupid dick cock piece of poop. Look at him. That okay. motherfucker. Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't Here we are. At some fort. Some fort. Some okay. fort. Some fort. William Fort. Okay. Hey, John. Hey, How you doing? All right. Last day. Last day. Last day. Woo! What's John so upset about? Nothing. I'm totally happy. I'm 100% awesome. We're going to Canopy Lake later. The land of fun and in the dreams. Dark. Canopy Lake uh, Croc yeah, is where I ended up uh, starting. That's where I started getting headaches. <laughs> and that's, that's how I started getting really dizzy when Aaron and I went on the Turkish twist 13 times in a row. Blastoise is the evolved version of Wattop. Yeah. <laughs> you want all these? Blastoise has a new idea. He's really trying. Right. Yeah. Um, otherwise, he's, you know, this is like a different that? note that he plays at one point in the movie. Yeah. Count to ten. Oh no. Which so, so, like <laughs> yeah, we got that. Right. In Latin. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> In Greek. <laughs> in, in Greek. Oh, good Indian in Jones. Sure. Just in case. Just in case it rains, you just yep. deploy the umbrella. You're like Inspector sure. Gadget over here. <laughs> this is, uh, they're doing the national anthem right now. Yeah, they are. Because the race is about to go off. You were amazing that scene. Well, thank you. I actually, I don't think I was. I think I a lot of made, made a lot of mistakes. Now, uh, But I'll stitch it together. Yeah, I know you have what you need. Uh, I know it's actually Frank. You and I, uh, we rehearsed every line that I did over and over again. We had lost these scenes. This was the first time I just pushed it up. You look like a serial killer. It's Terry. So whenever Play the ball. national ball, anthem goes off and I'm at Ruck, if I'm outside, I am well, legally you... required to stop where I am, face either the flag or the direction of the music. My hand over my chest and wait. Why does it happen at eight o'clock? Why does it happen spontaneously? It happens at eight o'clock. It's a routine. I see. Yes. Okay. Spontaneously. <laughs> Actually, also, if, if you're in your car, you're supposed to apply the brakes and wait. Hey, so my mom was here. It turns out we were shooting our movie, and my mom was running the road race. Yeah, she was. It's Frankie's mom. Oh, we're talking 55 years old. Damn. <laughs> On the uh, on 93 at the moment. I'm shooting myself while driving right now. I am driving home from having just dropped off Kyle and Hannah after our last shoot at Principal Photography. I thought that you know I needed something that kind of ends the second uh, production blog. I don't know. I'm feeling really good. I feel like uh, I think we got an okay movie. I, I don't know. A lot of us feel like we won't really know until it's edited, until you can really see it, but. Uh, what I do know is, is I'm incredibly grateful for, um, for all the people who put so much creative effort into something that, uh, uh, that could be easily thought of as somebody else's project and, uh, I just got a lot of talented and committed people, uh, this whole time. This is my fourth time out and for a fourth time, um, there have been people who, who, uh, who love me enough to, to help me, uh, do my nonsense. Today was an especially trying day. Uh, you might have heard that we were going to shoot at Canopy Lake Park on the last day. And Canopy was closed because of the rain. And so we ended up in Salem, Massachusetts. And uh, we shot um, all kinds of, like, sort of spooky Halloween stuff instead. We kind of had to rewrite the script. And I, my hope is, is that when it all cuts together, 
you'll think that we always meant to shoot in Salem and that it, it, that it was integral to, uh, to the plot of the movie, but, but it was, that all came together and happened this morning. I feel, right now I feel kind of like a, a, one of the spiritual, the creative spiritual godfathers of this movie is a, a, a great documentary called American Movie. There's this, this sad but very familiar feeling scene in which the main character, he's, he's shooting the very last shot on a short film kind of weird to to do the last shot of the film well I guess no I think everything actually makes sense it's me alone you know doing it I'm just gonna do the last shot of the film here my mom's coming out to take a picture and uh, even though I'm by myself right now I, it was it, it's it's it does feel great to have people surrounding you um, uh, when you have these kind of these moments of accomplishment. It doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often where uh, you reach some kind of climax or something that can be defined as we did something, we finished something. Um, but that last shot we did today, it was a close-up of Hannah Carpenter. Um, that was a defining moment of we, we did it. We, we don't know if, if the movie has a future or, or if we'll all be horribly disappointed with its outcome, but we know that we all set out to do a week long, a nine day long adventure, a very grueling filmmaking, and uh, everybody believed in the project, or at least believed in the idea of doing a project enough to, to do it, and um, I know I'm babbling, but uh, uh, I hope more people get to feel the way I feel right this second, I'm glad to be on video talking about it.